Good morning guys, so it is Monday today and I decided that I would vlog my week because I haven't really done things like this before and you guys have always requested it. This week there's like, I'm doing quite a lot of stuff that is well, I think interesting for you guys to see because I mean obviously like I would vlog my weeks more often But I want to know I like if I'm vlogging I want to be able to show you guys like some really fun stuff So today I am literally well Mondays Mondays are always days that I shoot with Becky So as I've said before Becky's a photographer So she comes over on a Monday and we basically Shoot like some new deliveries or things that I've got to take photos of and we basically just like catch up and like just chat about life it's quite good we call it our counseling sessions while i am sitting here though just thinking about things i've got to share with you this new foundation so this is all holly boone's fault like if you guys don't follow holly boone on youtube which i'm sure you do but if not you need to check her out because i watched one of her reviews of the hourglass um foundation that she did the other week and she seemed so excited about it that i was like i've got to try this foundation so i bought it oh my god it's life guys it's actually so good like it's insane. I've got it on today and I just feel like it's, I don't know, like, obviously you guys know, like, I'm such an avid user of, like, high street foundations. I love my Bourjois Healthy Mix, love my L'Oreal True Match. But, so this one, I mean, it's quite pricey, but, I mean, God, it's insane. So I got two different colours. I got golden and I got beige, mainly because I wasn't sure what colour I was actually going to be. So I'm wearing golden currently. This room is literally always such a mess. But this is my rail of stuff that I normally have to shoot. So I kind of got like different sections in here. And I keep all the stuff that I need to shoot on this one. So I'm like aware of what I'm doing. So let's have a little sneak peek of what I need to shoot. So this dress is insane. This is from Manier de Bois, And it's got like, it's suede. And it's got like these like lace up bits. And it's like suede all the way up. It's got like a high neck and laced up the back as well. Also have this jumper from Rich and Reckless and it says Kanye Attitude with Drake Feelings. I have cut this guys because I crop all of my jumpers. Um, yeah. And then today I'm also going to shoot this amazing denim jacket from In The Style. So it's like I got it in a large so it's like really oversized and then on the back it's got this beautiful like applique detailing of like a rose it's so pretty i also need to shoot this one today as well which is a new loungewear set which i love the gray one i think it's such a nice like simple set their sets are life guys if you haven't tried them or have any you need some in your life so becky bought me a treat and i kind of hate slash love her for it because She's trying to make I me fat. I wasn't sure if you'd eat it or not. But I no, I'm, I'm gonna. Anyway. You can't bring me a double decker oh, and then me and Chris not to eat save it. it for a later date. <laughs> it's like the way to my heart, guys. These right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. I'm, I'm with Becky, and she went, "Which which man is it?" I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like "It's Ollie." <laughs> it's our man. Our man. I'll we share man. you. <laughs> Extremely weird for Ollie, you're on. You're on the vlog. You're on <laughs> Sarah's YouTube vlog. Say hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I was Sarah. I'm gonna cut it some more because I want it to be like overly cropped. So these are my dressmaking scissors. I cut everything with everything. Everything, literally. Becky's like, "Oh, you cut that, have you?" I'm like, "Yep." I want it to be like overly cropped so you can see my underwear underneath. This is the idea behind this. <laughs> so now we're gonna go and find if find see, see. if my deliveries have arrived at my parentals. <laughs> Probably oh, haven't. Smells really funny here. Huh? Let's get some Drake on. Some Drake. I always say drink on. I was like, Becky, you can't oh, drink and drive. that other guy we love? Scotty Strutt. I can never say a second. Oh, yeah. DJ Scotty Strutt on SoundCloud, guys. So amazing. He is amazing. Check him out. That's really good. <laughs> what do we want to listen to? Yay. Oh, I like this one. Tunes. <laughs> we were staying in Paris to get away from your parents. And I thought, wow, if I could take this in a shot right now. The so that was the world's most irrelevant trip ever. My package was not there. I'm not impressed. I do, however, have my eyelashes. That was so pointless, wasn't it, Bex? Oh, well. Literally. Yeah. Pardon? I know, and the dogs weren't even there. They would have been taken on their annual... Annual? <laughs> annual. <laughs> Once a year. <laughs> their weekly dog walks. I didn't even get to see my dogs. I'm so sad. Me. Okay, well, that was fine. Now we're going to go and eat lunch. Yeah. Oh, throwing hands up to the sky. I don't know what 
avocado. Is, is an avocado a vegetable or a fruit? Salad. Salad. It's a salad. Um, Got it? That one. Okay, good. So, who wants to see what we buy when we go to Waitrose? <laughs> That's why we try to be really it's healthy. It's not that exciting. No, but to be fair, this is actually generally what is always in my always, always in my basket. It's going straight in my basket. Um, right, so what do I buy? Almond milk. Almond milk is life. Literally life. So that goes in my protein shakes. Then, for lunch today we're having Becky Mill smashed avocado. Do you not understand how to smash an avocado? I asked how to smash, how to smash an avocado. <laughs> mm, with a fork. I thought there might be some special sort of, like, I don't know. So we've got avocados, limes, spring onions, bacon and red peppers, because this goes into like make Joe Wicks's like avocado and bacon on like Rivita, it's so good. So that's what we're gonna have for lunch. I'm just waiting is. for the bacon. This is amazing, guys. It's like kind of like guacamole, but not, and it's so good. Hey, and I actually with Sarah. I didn't set my oven on fire this time, so I think that's a great start. Yeah. Ooh, here for the ride. So Becky has just announced to me while we're sitting here eating lunch that she dips her toast. It's not weird. No, her toast in her tea. That's weird. Buttered toast into her tea. Look, my mum used to do it. She's like, no, when you brought up on something, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, if anyone does that, leave a comment because I just think that's no one else does that. Yeah, we're pretty much all set with this. We can probably even upload it tonight. Uh, we just watched the first final edit of my uh, yeah, new lookbook video, which is obviously going live, which I think will be going live after this goes up. Mm. So, oh my god, it's so amazing. I'm so excited. Do you guys want a sneak peek? Although you would have probably seen it by the time this goes up, but we can film the bit that we love. Okay, I'm oh, going to so show you. So I'm now leaving Becky and she's going one way, I'm going the other because I'm heading up to London because I have got a meeting with a PT at a new gym in London that's opened up that is called BXR London and basically I've decided that I want to take up boxing. I know, random. I just feel like I want to do like a cut form of cardio and I think I really enjoy it and I've got a lot of anger that I feel like I can get out during boxing. <laughs> so hopefully I can like vlog while I'm in there but it's like an exclusive members gym. It's all very weird so I'll see but it's a really cool gym. Good morning guys, so it's Tuesday today and I'm up early because I'm off to Vixen and Blushing my hair change this morning slash today it takes forever I'm normally in there for like nine hours at a time whenever I go and get my hair done but I quite like it because I love the girls in there so it's like a good excuse to just sit and chat all day um yeah so I'm excited but I'm also nervous because like obviously changing your hair is just like a big thing so fingers crossed I like it I'm sure I will and they always do an amazing job so yeah I am excited um this is still a cosmetics in Besso if anyone's wondering also can we just take a minute to appreciate these jeans look how cool they are they're from Misguided, and they're like lace up. So that's like so wonky, but hopefully you can see that. Um, they're amazing. So I've just got to Vixen and Blush. I'm here with the lovely Sarah, who's hiding in the background. <laughs> so uh, we're taking out my bonds first of all. So, because we're going for full fresh hair today and possibly a colour change. So that's where we're going to start with. So guys, I've had my bonds taken out and I've got my baby hair back. Look how like different it is. This is how magical Vixen and Blush are. They can take this to what it looked like before. I'm now going to have, wait, what is it called? A, a, a rinser. A, a yeah, red effect on rinse. Perfect on rinse, which apparently is going to make me go fully like ginge. Look at this. It's like this red <laughs> serum -y thing. Ribena. Yes, Ribena is going all over my hair because it's going to help me go back to being brown. Um, so, what do you think of my new hair colour? I'm totally joking guys, this is not it, but this is what this rinse has done to my hair. I mean, it's a colour, that's for sure, but I won't be keeping it like this. Step number one is complete. We have the base colour, which I am loving. So we've kind of toned it up to get the colour that the brunette kind of darkness, the brown that I want. So I'm going to do my roots and make them just a little bit darker so I've got more of like a ombre balayage look. And then we're going to do the extensions. 
Good morning, guys. Sorry I didn't do a very good job of finishing off my vlog yesterday. Literally, whenever I go to Vixen Blush, I'm in there for so long. I didn't leave until half past eight, and I got there at ten in the morning. So as you can see, my hair is all done, and I'm actually obsessed with the colour. Like, it's so nice. I mean, it's a change, but I'm loving it. Like, it's... I don't know. I mean, I'm naturally brunette, so it actually generally does suit me better because it is meant for my skin tone. So today I've got a shoot with Miss Pap, so I'm going with Holly, I'm doing it with Holly and Imogen, um, up in London, and then we're going to the NTAs tonight, which will be really fun. So that's why I wanted to Snapchat this week, because this is gonna, Snapchat? So I used to Snapchat, vlog this week, um, because yeah, it's gonna be fun. It'd be nice to have those girls in my vlog and show you what we're doing on the shoot. So I'm just gonna sort out now, because it's like half past six in the morning nice and early hence why it looks like this um yeah i'm gonna sort out all my stuff to take and my taxi's picking me up at half seven and then we can go and get my photo shoot on this morning and today is one of those days that I kind of call like my admin days so I spend like the whole day at home getting stuff done that I need to get done like tidying my flat and doing emails and all that kind of like slightly more boring stuff because I've got to have a day like this just to keep on top of things otherwise it just gets a bit like ridiculous but right now I'm going off to the gym so I've got my training session with my personal trainer um, which I try and fit in I would love to do like three times a week, but currently it's about two times a week just because it's like my schedule's a bit all over the place and trying to fit in a session is really hard. So I've got one today, one tomorrow, but yeah, so today's a little bit boring, but yeah, it's good. I need them. I have to have days like this, otherwise I would just be way too hectic. So yeah. So I have finished tidying up. It's literally my worst thing to do. I hate it. This part of me gets so messy because it's not very big. And so like the kitchen and lounge is like the same area so it just kind of just everything just seems to pile up and then when I'm really busy I don't have time to tidy it so it just gets on top of me. Also don't ask why I have a toaster on the floor. I really don't know. It was up there but it took up too much room. It's currently on the floor. I don't even use it so I need to get rid of it. It's just there randomly but I know it's so random. And then you got my sofa and then my prints from CeeLo which I absolutely love. So I thought that seeing as I have been to my parents' house to pick up my deliveries, I would open some of them because I spend my life doing this, so may as well vlog it because it's part of my week. Um, and there's, there is the most insane top that has arrived. I've actually already opened it because I got way too excited. Um, I'm going to show you it. It's... I can't even tell. It's so nice. So, it is from... I don't actually know how to pronounce this. Mess... Mesky, maybe? Boutique. I just bought this on Instagram because I saw it. Guys, are you ready? It's ridiculous. So, it's basically a top version of, like, that dress that Kendall Jenner wore on her birthday. 
it's insane obviously in the box like this does it no justice but it's all like crystals it's insane it's absolutely beautiful like i can't even deal with how nice this is um so yeah i'm gonna be wearing this in my next lookbook so keep an eye out for it guys and you'll see how i style it then i got some new boots from public desire i love these because they're kind of like casual um like a bit more casual than normal sock boots but they've still got the sock boot kind of top to them so they look really nice to like skinny jeans or like a jumper dress or t-shirt dresses and stuff because i love that sock boot style but i just think that with this kind of wedge heel it'll be a lot more comfortable than say like the normal kind of thin heel sock boots but i love them and they're like a faux suede kind of material and look at these they're like baby pink nmds i'm actually in love <gasps> they are amazing insta kicks guys is literally life for trainers they are so good like the, he just finds the most amazing trainers and you can get 15 pounds off with sarah 15 which is obviously super handy but i love them literally all of my nmds are from insta kicks so i am so excited so i've popped back to vixen blush today to do my after picture because when i left last time it was so dark that i didn't get a chance to so we've sassed up my hair looks insane like the color is so perfect it they've just done an amazing job as always just checked into the W Hotel with Joel. He's not at, we're not actually spending the night together, don't worry, guys. But we've met him because we're going to go for a coffee date. And the W have been such babes and they've like upgraded my room to some ridiculous. Like, isn't it just the sassiest thing? You guys want a room tour? We walked yeah. in and we were like. <laughs> guys I've literally been the worst at vlogging over the past well yesterday I had like it was just one of those days where I was just rushing around like a headless chicken I went to the gym and then totally underestimated the time it would take me to get to London had to go back to Vixen and Blush to have my after picture and then met up with Joel um, and just had a nice catch up with him because I hadn't seen him in a while and we were planning our trips We think we're gonna go to New York in March. It's gonna be so fun. I literally love him. He's like so genuine and just such a lovely person and honestly like you know when you just hang out with someone and it's just such good vibes like that's how i feel whenever i'm with joel i just i just think people like that are so rare so when you find people like that you should hold on to them because yeah i just think when you vibe with someone it's so important to keep them in your life so love spending time with him so yeah spend the evening with him and then this hotel is literally insane. I've had so much fun playing with all the different gadgets and things like that. Like, it has a cinema experience. I think I might show you guys before I check out because it's so cool. So basically, you have this tablet and you click, like, cinema experience. And then you go, turn on cinema experience and look at this. So everything kind of, like, closes. And then this big projector screen comes down. Which is just crazy. Oh, my tray is in the way of a curtain. Whoops. How crazy is that? Like, that's mad. That's actually mad. And then you've just got this, like, look. And then the TV is on the projector screen. Like, I want one of these in my house. How mad is that? Blackout blinds come down. That is insane. I promise I don't actually watch Football Focus. This is just on TV. <laughs> But yeah, that really impressed me. I got way too excited. And I'll show you the view. Like, it's kind of funny because it looks down to the gym and there's people, like, working out there right now. So yeah, look at this, guys. So this is the view. <laughs> How funny is that? You, like, look down onto the gym. There's, like, some guy just, like, casually working out. So that's, like, but you can't... I'm assuming they can't see in. So today I've got... Like it's random, it's a Saturday, so weekends I try and just chill and like see my friends and try and not work. So I'm just gonna catch up with a mate in London and then I'm gonna go home and go out with my friends later. Probably won't vlog that though because I want to keep this to more sort of like my blogging life. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. So I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this vlog. Um, yeah, and that it's something that has been interesting for you guys to watch. Hope it hasn't been too boring. I haven't rammed on for too long because I do love to talk. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because obviously it's good for me to know whether I should film more of these kind of videos to see like whether you guys enjoy watching them. Um, yeah, so as I say, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope that you guys love my lookbook video, which is launching today. I'm going to put these videos out the same day. Double upload. 
I'm like a new woman. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the lookbook because honestly, like, it's one of my favourite ones. And we had so much fun filming it. Stay tuned for February's because that one I cannot wait for. We're filming that on Monday, so tomorrow is when we're filming that. So you can keep up with my Snapchat and it'll be all over there. Can't wait for that one. Um, but yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!